Hello and welcome to Debbie Loves Designing. Well, I've just made this lovely bracelet and I did some wire wrap loops. So I'd like to show you how it's easily done. So what you will need is some beads of your choice. You could use beads or you can use letters of the alphabet, whatever ones you want really. Also, you'll need some chain to attach it to. You'll need some jewellery making wire, which is here. This is 22 gauge. It's cut about six inches. You'll also need some sort of lobster clasp. A large, one large jump ring one medium-sized jump ring and two smaller jump rings that can open like that. Also, you'll need either a Tipex or a felt-tip pen, a piece of paper, a ruler, You'll need chain nose pliers, you'll need flat nose pliers, flush cutters, and also round nose pliers. So the first thing you're going to do is cut the wire. I've already cut mine with the flush cutters. I'm cutting six inches of wire and then with your ruler, you're going to measure about one and a half inches. Depends on how big you want the hoops to be, about one and a half inches in of the wire. Let me straighten it a bit like that. Then what you're going to do is pick up your round nose pliers and depending on how large you want the hoop to be, make some make a mark now some people when they this part of this this round nose pliers is silver they can take a felt tip pen and make a mark but it doesn't really show up on these dark ones so that's why i got tipex and i made a mark there you can scrape it off after because and i made a mark there because that's the size i want the hoops to be so what you'll do is just go near where your mark is, yeah, mark is there, make sure you measure about one half inch, so I'm just going to measure it again, so where my finger is, I'm just going to clamp it, and put it to where the tip X mark is, like that, and then you'll just bring your wire across, and downwards like that. So have this bit of wire straight and try and have it straight. And then just bring this down. So it looks like you're forming a P, a P shape. So then you're gonna pick up your, you're gonna pick up your flat nose pliers and you're gonna clamp the whole of the head of the wire like so. And then you're going to take this bit that's sticking out. Try and bring this near. All right, this bit that's sticking out, you're going to wrap it about two to three times. Try and hold this bit here, all right, and wrap it close. The hoops close to each other. Try and keep it a bit close to each other. And then just wrap about three, two to three times. And as you wrap, it's going to get tighter anyway, a bit harder to turn. So you can wrap it two or three times the wire is going to get tighter and keep the coils very near to each other not too much what they'll but have them near to each other like so so that's enough so it's going to be a bit misshapen so you're going to pick up your round nose pliers you're going to put it inside where the tip x is and then you're going to gently move it across so that the hoop is nice and round at the end. So keep 
move in it like that so you have like a, a P try and have it as round as possible and then a lot of the time the hoops gonna look a bit wonky so we're gonna try and have that as straight as possible I like to go back in with me round those pliers and gently move it so it's kind of round at the top and then I'll pick up my flush cutters and cut this tail off as near as possible and be careful that the uh, piece of wire is going to fly so go as near as possible using the back of your flush cutters and just go near to it and cut it like that and then try and straighten it out a bit. I'm going to pick, pick up my uh, round nose pliers. I'm going to try and straighten it a bit. Try and make the hole a little bit more round. I'm going back to where that mark, near to where that mark is. Like that. Try and have, try and have the loop facing upwards. And then the little bit of wire that's sticking out, I'll, I'll just tuck it in with my chain nose pliers, just tucking it in. But I'll tuck it in, tuck it in gently, because if you squeeze it too much, then it makes the coils go squashed. So try your hardest to have the hoop round and nice and central and the, the little coils next to each other. And because this wire is a bit bendy, sometimes I'll pick up my jaw, jaw pliers and go in and kind of try and straighten it a bit. And you're not going to use all this wire, I just like to cut a, a big piece off. So now that it's kind of looking like this, then you're going to just thread on your beads. So the first ones I used were these ones, but I think I like to use um, some words or name so I'll get and I'll thread it on and these are white I'm using white and silver so just thread them on you could use beads let's find the hole here you can use beads you can use these are called uh, chippings because they're sort of like chippings. You could just use round beads or you can just use words or whatever. So I'm going to use the word Lisa. So I'm just going to thread it on, make sure I thread it on the right way. S-A. S. So the last one's Lisa and what I'm using is a combination of silver and white beads because so I just think it looks nice so I have the hoop at the top you can see the coils and then the name Lisa with the coils so what you're going to do now is that you want these coils here to be the same size on the other side and you want the hoop to be the same size as the other side so what you're going to do is pick up a pen and on the piece of paper you can just draw the same length. So you see that the length of the coils is the, the, near the same size as the length of the little black mark. So what I'll do, I'll go to the other side, I'll pick up my round those pliers right I'm going to clamp where my bit of tipex is see me tipex there clamp where me tip oh that's far too long where me tipex is so that the hoop is the same size so that this hoop is the same size all right so where where the little black mark is 
I'm going to have it that side, so it have to be a bit smaller. Move it in slightly more. So make sure that the, the coils are the same size for the other side. So just gonna like that. Just gonna measure it again. Yeah. And then what I'm gonna do is make sure that the it's on the where the tipex is. Yeah. Like that. And then bring this wire and wrap it right around and underneath so it should look like this have a p at the top and then i'm going to pick up my and then i'm going to pick up my flat nose pliers yeah and then i'm going to twirl round again keeping the wire next to each other Right, so the wires next to each other, and then I'm going to pick up my round nose pliers and position it where the tipex is, which is here, and try and straighten it more. So that we're trying to have the hoops. This hoop and this hoop can be look the same as possible and the little rows, the little coils here are the same size as possible. And then what you're going to do is pick up your flush cutters again and cut very near to the wire. Maybe I can point it this way, very near to the wire and cut away like that. And if there's a bit sticking out, you could try and get nearer and cut it. I'm trying, yeah, there's too much there. So I try and get a bit nearer. Get a bit nearer and cut it. Like that. Like that. So, so that I'm aiming to have the hoops almost the same size and the coils the same size. So it looks nice and even. And if you're, um, you're finding this is a bit, it's a bit flimsy, all right, what you can also do is clamp one side of the hoop with the chain nose pliers and the other side with the flat nose pliers and try and kind of straighten it together. So the next thing we're going to do is add on the chain, the length of chain. I've got a length of chain, depending on how long you want the bracelet to be because some people like their bracelet to be tight here and some of them like to have it like there but this chain so I've got this length of chain and I'm going to attach it on so what I'll do so this length of chain is six inches because I like to measure around my wrist like that so I like to measure around my wrist um, roughly I'd rather make it too long than too short and then what I'm going to do is pick up my, I'm going to pick up my little jump rings. I'm going to open them by picking up my chain nose pliers and my flat nose pliers like that. I'm going to open it across. Where you can see the, the little mark where you can open. So I'm going to find the opening. I think you can see it there. So what I'll do is just, Take it like that and open it across like that. So it's hanging like that. And then what I'll do is pick up a length of chain, hook it on like that. Pick up the chain, put it on, pick up my flat nose pliers and close it. And 
and close it by bringing it together like that and pushing it together. Then go on the other side. You can even put it through the loop first or the chain first, it don't matter. Get the piece of chain and then hook it on. Then hook it on like that and then pick up your, bring it together and close it like that. Bring it together like that and close it. So whilst you've got it like this, you go right into the middle and pick up your flush cutters to cut in the middle. Give it a nice, see it's in the middle like that and then just give it a cut. Like that. Measure it on your hand. See where it's going to be. You're going to attach the lobster clasp. So you pick up the lobster clasp. And then you pick up the medium size jump ring. And you're going to open it across. I've already kind of opened it. You're open it across and thread it onto one side. And then get the end of the chain and thread that on as well. So once it's threaded on, you're going to do the same procedure by closing it using your chain nose pliers and your flat nose pliers if you want. Or you can put it against your finger and just do it like that. Just make sure it's closed. So it should be like that. All right, we're going to go on the other side. And then you can pick up your larger jump ring. You could either use one of these ones or you could use one of these ones. If you're using one of these ones, then you need the small, you need a smaller jump ring. You need or a medium sized one to attach it together. But I think I'll pick up my other large one, this large one, so I don't need a another little hoop with it. Uh, I'm going to use this one, I think, instead. Just open, sometimes I'll just open it with my hand, thread it on. Thread it on like that and close it. Let me pick up my chain nose pliers or me flat nose pliers anyone you want to pick and close it together like that and just kind of press it here so that it's closed nicely I think I'll pick up my flat nose pliers so that I can close it better Because there's a little gap, isn't there? So close it and just kind of bring it together like that. So I'm going to use this one instead. But if you're going to use this one, you're going to have to use a small jump ring. Go in there and then place it in there. I suppose you can, or you can even put it in here. But I don't suppose you need both really. A smaller jump ring and this one here. But I'm just going to use this one because this one's here. And this is slightly open, so and bring it together sometimes i just use my hand and bring it together because i don't want it to fall off yeah so that's together now so i've got it on now i think it looks really nice so you've got the two hoops at the side and then and the little twirls and also when you're doing the wrapped loop it's going to be a bit of practice. So I think that looks quite nice. So the most thing you have to practice is making these hoops as round as possible and the coils, trying to make them even and have these loops look the same. But that's just a load of practice you have to do. Or this one. Yeah, it's just practice. But I think they look quite nice even together. And as I said, you could use chip-ins or words or anything like that. So thank you so much for taking time out to watch my channel. If you've got any questions or any comments, please pop them down below. I always answer them. 
And if you like my channel, please press the, the like button. And, um, and if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. I try to make a video often, even if it's just shorts, but I don't always get to, but I do love making jewellery. And if you want to follow me, my I'm on Instagram um, and TikTok and Pinterest. I'm not really on Twitter that much now. And if you want to have a look at my shop and see what I make, then I'll pop that down below. Uh, all my links are down below if you want to watch me. And thank you so much for taking time out to watch the channel. Bye-bye for now.